testify to his faithfulness. Tell somebody God has been faithful to me. He has done for me what I could not do for myself. If not for God, <laughs> where would I be? Hallelujah. Amen. There's this famous poster that every one of us, I'm sure, has seen. It shows a man walking on a beach and he complains. He says, Lord, in the deepest, darkest hour, when I looked, I only saw one set of footprints. But you said you'll never leave me nor forsake me. I said, well, where were you when things were apparently not going well? <laughs> I can imagine a heavenly laugh. I don't know what it'd be like if God laughs. He said, yes. When you pass through those storms, the footsteps you saw were mine because I carried you. Hallelujah. Amen. If not for God, you wouldn't be here. So whether you feel it, whether you see it, tell somebody he's walking. He's walking. I say he's walking. He's walking. Hallelujah. Amen. Is there somebody here while we remain standing that just wants to quickly testify to God's faithfulness? since we didn't receive any papers. But you're here, oh, okay. Uh, ushers, would you be so kind as to pick up the papers and hand it to me? I will be most grateful. Quickly, please. Brother Dave, they can't see you sitting down. It will be next week. Father, we bless your name. We appreciate you. Faithful God, everlasting Father. For every testimony that has not been expressed, we say thank you. It is you who is walking. Even when we don't see, even when we don't feel, you are the one that is walking. And as a church, we want to thank you. Look outside if you can see outside. Look outside. Is there something you see that wasn't there, you know, last week? What do you see? You see sun. The church is marching on. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. We are done with sun. Amen. Amen. Oh, in the course of building, but for now, fulfilling, we are, if you want to give us sun, we don't want to give. Amen. 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 The next thing we hear us talking about is foundation. We are moving forward. Praise the name of the Lord. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time, so don't, don't mind me if I use the opportunity. <laughs> Pastor Isaac, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I've been dying to say we don't want any more sound. Let somebody shout hallelujah. God bless each and every one of us. Next week, we'll hear your testimony. Your testimony will hit the internet. It will hit the front pages. It will be noised abroad in the land. In Jesus' name. God bless you. to work, even in your project and in our lives this morning, as we study your word in Jesus' name, Holy Spirit, root over every heart that is here. We pray that your light will shine into our hearts. Let there be light. Amen. Let there be light. Amen. Let there be light. Amen. So we will not walk in darkness, so that we will not walk in ignorance, and we will not stumble in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise it the Lord. Hallelujah. So today is the is our interactive section. Session, right? Yeah. Section or session? Session. Session. Thank you, sir. So it's interactive. And um, interactive means you, you give me feedback and I also give you, right? Yes, ma'am. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Will we all cooperate this morning? Yes, 
because I have feedback for you people. Better give, give the Sunday school, not only me, I'm not the only Sunday school teachers. Whatever feedback you're giving, you're giving to Pastor, you're giving to Pastor Peju, you're giving to Pastor Isaac. Praise the Lord. So it's not only me. Hallelujah. So it's interactive section, and today we're going to look at all we have done in the quarter, but I need your feedback first, and we need to be very fast, please. Because of time, we only have limited time. Praise the Lord. Who starts? Do I start or you start? Huh? Who will start? Oh, I should start. So you know how hard I'll hit you guys. Boy. <laughs> okay, you have the number. I will start. Number one feedback, church. I feel you people are not interactive enough. You know. Praise the Lord. I can count the people Sunday after Sunday that make contributions. Same set of people. And I want to believe that God drops something in our hearts. Even if it's not a question, just say from this teaching, this is what I learned, or this is how God has given me further revelation in his word. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So please, that's my feedback. You want number two? Yeah. <laughs> Don't uh, Sunday school offering, thank you, sir. You people don't drop Sunday school offering, that's unfair. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Number three, please, because of time, if, if you have questions, some people have already started doing that. You can, before we, we leave church, you can tell me this and these are areas I, I don't agree with or I will want further shed light on. So I will share with the Sunday school teachers, they will prepare ahead the following Sunday and explain it. Praise the Lord. If we don't ask questions, we will not. You only limit yourself to what you have heard or what has been said. Yes, sir, please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To buttress what Sister Evelyn said about asking questions, last time there was some question about the Holy Spirit, right? Yeah. Now, who will bear witness that the following Tuesday we devoted it to studying the Holy Spirit? That's yeah. true. Yes. Sir. Yeah. So we're serious about this. And let me tell you something, by the grace of God, we've had the privilege of being in Sunday school in many places, worry here and there. There are people that will testify of what God did in the Sunday school. I'm not saying the message. There are people that come. In fact, I've never seen Sunday school like in Warima. They will bring life issues. If I, you'll be the one time they say, Ma, maybe after. Hey, they want to ask the question. Real life issues. And they are tackled, they are addressed, people are blessed. In Sunday school, we had people saying, how can you say forgive? How about this and this? And, ah, personal issues. And then the next day, uh, I went to the office and I spoke to so and so and I thank God. So it's real. Sunday school is real. It's not a joke. Should I tell you the truth? Some Sunday school teachers will tell you that if you must miss any part of the, of the service, it's not Sunday school. Praise the Lord. So let's take it seriously. It's a blessing. And it has been designed for us to be full, complete. You learn at Sunday school, you take part in house fellowship, you hear the message, everything put together, you bit and bit and bit and bit. God help us in Jesus' name. Sir, thank you so much, sir. See, pastor has validated it, he has backed it up now. Hallelujah. And one more thing again. Please, I am begging us. I, for once, I can testify the Lord has taught me a lot in Sunday school. I'm not joking. Can we make this decision that whatever we hear, we go home, just put a little effort on it and see if God will not prove himself faithful. Praise the Lord. Especially on that part of Holy Spirit. I've been asking Holy Spirit a lot of questions. I said, ah, something radical must happen because where you, are, where you walk is not normal. Imagine if the Holy Spirit walks in our midst, as in he unleashes his, his gifts and everybody is ministry. Remember, it's not only workers from what we learned. Can you imagine what the church would look like? Oh, can you envis envisage it? I'm telling you, nobody will come here and go home the same. But it's like we are sitting like a child that keeps feeding us, they finish feeding. If you're a child, counting the, the number of years you gave your life to Christ, do you know you will you will still not be able to crawl. 
I'm not talking about just you guys, including myself. Do you understand? Yeah. A lot of us have been born again 15 years, 10 years, 20 years. And we're still just being fed. Honestly, I want us, you know Paul said, desire earnestly the gift. I will not have you be ignorant of this gift. So God is saying, I have put something in you. Don't be ignorant about it. When you realize you have it, you start using it. Honestly, it's not only pastor alone. It's not only that the Jew alone. That's what God has opened my eyes to. And it's for me to find out that which he has dropped in me. And I'll start using it. Start with yourself. Extend to your immediate family. Your closer relations. Before you now come to church. If you don't spend time with God and you come here, you disgrace yourself. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm trying to be fast. Thank you. That's my feedback. What's your own? Let me hide my head. <laughs> Where's my, okay, not my, oh, where's the Sunday school teacher's own? Yes, ma'am. Feedback from us. Not <laughs> 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 from, from, from there. Okay, um. It's not only me, it's Sunday school, right? <laughs> Wait, now. <laughs> I said feedback from here, uh, not from there. Okay, <laughs> Okay, one from us here is that uh, why we, we don't make so much work. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, you know, normal Sunday school, yeah, there's, you know, you, there's a break, like you teach and you pause for a feedback. But we don't seem to get that now, probably because of time. So we see our, you know, Sunday school teachers rushing. Even when um, you're saying you read your own scriptures, with, you know, emphasizing on time. So a number of times, because of that time constraint, people don't want to talk anything. Because, you know, that actually takes time in Sunday school. That's asking questions, responding, and all that. So I don't know what we are going to do. For me, I think that's why we're not getting so much contribution. Thank you so much, Pastor. Hey. Pastor is a time manager, time allocator, and. Uh, <laughs> No, wow. Sister Peace comes so, below the verse. Sir. So they have thrown me under the bus. So it's not... <laughs> Look, you know the truth. Yesterday we had some the school um, teachers conference at uh, one of our uh, parishes. And um, what our APICP said is that one of the conditions that we were teaching about loving the Lord, he said these days we keep cutting down the time. We're in a hurry. And, uh, you know, at what point? I mean, imagine if you love somebody. I mean, gentlemen will understand this very well. You're courting somebody, and you go, you spend hours and hours, at least I know I've been there and I'm still there. Amen. Amen. Uh, you know, so what if you st go and say, 10 minutes, I'm going. Yeah? You're going to. Where did they go? Where did they go? Okay, first time, you may escape. Second time. Second time. The third time, guy, yeah, you're on your own. You know, so... That is one side, but the truth is that we're trying to manage this time. We're trying to, imagine if we're in the uh, building, then we'll be like at GSP yesterday, one of our big parishes, even though there's a limitation, they could still accommodate a whole lot of people. But right now we're in a temporary place, waiting to build, so that we will have space, gallery, everything, you know? But right now, if we take two, we tried it and at a point, when we still extended it. You know, we actually took some school back to 45 minutes or so. Yeah. What we saw is that people were waiting outside. Yeah. And there were, there were a few people in particular that were very upset, as in, what's all this one? And then it was taking time, so the sun was now beginning to come out and we were waiting out there, the crowd. So that's all what we've been trying to manage. During these times, COVID, and all, imagine again, if by the time God takes COVID away, the sitting will be a bit different, even in this temporary place. We can take more people. But seeing people waiting outside, some very, I mean, the visitor comes and it's like, uh, I mean, I know two particular ladies that didn't find it fun at all. And many others waiting, waiting. So that's all we're trying to manage. And again, many of us are in a hurry, which is true. Some for good reason, some for no reason, but it's everybody's prerogative. So by the time service is uh, two hours, three hours, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. At least when I gave my life not too long, I mean, many years ago, one of the things that God used to bring me to the redeemed Christian Church of God was time. I used to go to Latter-day Assembly, but it was far. So whenever we're late, we're just married, 
And um, uh, my wife would suggest she had always loved reading before we married. So it was a plan. No, you know, I'm exposing her plan. So you'd be like, let's just go. Are you up? <laughs> like, look, there's a redeem on our street. Let's just go down there. Because by the time we go to lap, so we'll just do the other service. Shocking. One hour. I, of course, I started. Everybody knows I have a thing for time. So I started flowing, flowing with them. And the rest is history. Yeah. One, I met somebody in my. Um, in my former colleague, when I say colleague, very, very senior colleague where I used to work. And he was talking about this, and he said, look, there's some people, I was, I was surprised, integrity. She said, I will, I will visit your church. Ah, okay, sir, okay. Said, but what have, you know, there's some people, they don't have integrity, I'm telling you the truth. That they will write one time here, and they'll do another time. My mind, I was like, this man better tell us when he's coming. <laughs> you know, so those are the things that we're trying to manage. And I'm taking time, but this is important. So let's have more feedback. If, for example, the whole church is saying, we don't mind, we want Sunday school to be this and that, we will look and see what, how to tweak it again. But that is our constraint. And we're praying that COVID is already gone in Jesus' name. Yeah. Just to help you understand, it's not like we're rushing to go and do anything, but we're trying to manage the space, the time, and the regulations. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Pastor. Do we agree with Pastor? Did you answer the question? Yeah. yeah. Somebody Thank has you. A suggestion. You can take 20 what? minutes and um, just the right words. No, who's a? You can specially dedicate five minutes or so. Out of the 20 minutes. Yes, yeah, out of the five. Is there five minutes? Okay. You need to send the outline. But you want responses. I mean, you speak. Okay, go ahead. We, we oh, also so see 15 minutes my, now. I'm so sorry. Yeah? You used to see 15 minutes. Okay, yeah, before. Yeah, before. And it was increased to 25. It, 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 it was 15 minutes to 45 to 25. And you were still making that 15 minutes. So now we want responses and feedback and contributions. So I'm suggesting if you can take 20 minutes, you. Okay, if you take 20 minutes out of 25, we could take 5 minutes for feedback, for questions. The ones that cannot be treated will be carried over to the next week. And so when you come next week, you treat those questions and then go to new ones. That's my suggestion. Those in support say aye. Aye. Just lift your hands so I will know. Aye. You're wearing a mask. I can't see you saying aye. aye. Okay. Thank you, Sister Beast. For that useful contribution. Senator. Sister Polake, O oh, Senator, peace. Hallelujah. Governor of Lagos. The first man of Lagos. No problem. Hallelujah. Okay, so, Sister Polake, so the teaching time should be 20 minutes. Then we use five minutes to ask questions. So once it's like 15 minutes, just flag five minutes before time up, or five minutes more. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, any other feedback? Thank you so Somebody, much. Ma okay, Brother Desmond. No, 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 uh, I, I want to make it as a suggestion based on what Pastor said. Because sometimes when we come to our after best service, many people are still surprised within our area. You people are back from church. Wow, this church, your church is wonderful. You know, <laughs> they keep praising us. We are keeping to that. Okay. But the truth remains that what we're getting when we're in the whole church is, is gradually deteriorating. Because it's like now, we are more conscious, like as Mr. King said, we are more conscious of our time. So I will beg, like if it is possible. We have 10 minutes more. Yeah, if it is possible. To get something like a kind of one that those people that will come, that will come, that maybe sun will be stop, they will be worried. When they come, they will sit there. And let me thank you. And these five minutes we talked about, you know, because several times I watch you, even when you are walking away, you are not happy. Yes. Because <laughs> inside us, we, 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 we are yearning for more. We, 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 we want to enjoy this. Is this the Falakas fault? She's always disturbing. <laughs> 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 Like church at the grassroots side, yeah. and when 
Yes, we are enjoying it a lot. And when it is time, at the end, when we are enjoying it, that is when we see the chorus cast. And as my mom was born, he's protecting her. Okay, praise the Lord. The reason why I'm saying it is that I don't know why it is only redeemed that are keeping to this because the Muslims, they will stay in their mosque for more than 10 hours. COVID, my food. It's only here. It's only here that we are. Brother Desmond, I, I hear you. I'm just I, that Brother Desmond. I agree with you. I, I agree with you. I'm a Sunday school teacher. And I can see, I can feel Sister Evelyn's pain. Because Sister Evelyn is a teacher. You, you can see. She wants to, she, and she does a wonderful job of impacting that knowledge. And she wants to make sure that. So, I will take this as an action point. I will somehow look and borrow some 10 minutes somewhere. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to do it. There's nowhere to borrow. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Okay, okay, you see now? You see what they're doing to me now? Okay, we'll, 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 we will take, we will sit and look at it all and see what we can do. It's a very, very valid point. There are sometimes questions, comments you want to make. Sometimes you learn all the stuff and then one personal example seals it for you. Yeah. And it's like, wow, that's it. This message, I won't let you go. And then people are rushing, rushing. Okay. Okay. Mr. Stephen. Apostle Stephen. The youth in, okay, you. Okay, ladies first. You need microphone so we can hear you. Or maybe you. She said, if the time is not enough, come for digging deep and trash out all your questions. Yeah. Hallelujah. Okay. Those in support say aye. aye. <laughs> Those in saying nay, say, raise your hand, say nay. Nay and aye. Uh, eh? You don't know the language. Please, who is a lawyer? <laughs> Pastor, help us. What did they say? Uh, it's Ne. Okay. Uh, Pastor, you see now. Uh, I was right. Anyway, I'm the first so you're saying Ne, that you don't support her, just raise your hand. Let's see. So please make a commitment. Are we making commitment to be in church on Tuesday? No, we promise. Lift your hand before God. He's seeing you. Hallelujah. Awesome. Great. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Okay, Mr. Steven. Okay. I actually simply want to say that our Sunday school has been so much powerful and so impactful. And God bless our teachers. Our teachers. Teachers. I actually want to buttress what the Thank you, Mr. Stephen. God bless you, sir. Who? That will alter the uh, Okay. Who, who has a record? I think it will alter the, 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 the yes, the, some of the school uh, 
manual as it is written there. We are going to miss because it's dated. So we will be behind. Okay, but I think the best thing is maybe they, there's an interactive like today. session like today. It's quarterly. Like today, quarterly. So I think we should make. For every one of us, we should make we should be committed to Sunday school, make conscious effort. And what it means is that if you can actually come to Sunday school with your jotter, with pen, it's a school. You jot at maybe interactive session like this. You ask those questions that you haven't that has not been answered. But if it has been answered on um, on Tuesday or in the five minutes, or even when pastor is preaching, you think that is that. So it's like everyone standing on his or her feet to say, this is on the school. We must get it done. It has to impact our lives. Because of this, so this is not going to last forever. Amen. You know, this COVID thing. We yeah. pray that sometime in the future, God, God helping us, we'll have our time again to do our Sunday school fully. But for now, I... I won't subscribe to read, you know, reading um, any regulations as to COVID or anything because we don't want to. Even if everybody is doing it, reading Christian Church of God is known for compliance and obedience. And we cannot breach that because we want to do Sunday school. But as much as possible, uh, God helping our teachers to try to see how we can get that feedback, get the interruption. It could be on Tuesday, Bible study has been suggested, or taking time, or during interactive sessions. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, let's rest it this way. Number one, you know when you're a student in school, you go for tutorials, lectures, these days online, different, different ways. Number one, we commit to looking at the structure of service and seeing where we can add a little bit of time without sacrificing um, the message or praise. We'll, we'll look at it. We'll look at it, okay. if it's possible, number one. Number two, um, the suggestion about one service, one Sunday, one, yeah, may not work because the, the, the Sunday school lessons are numbered and dated. Again, like Sister Edwin said, no, Sister P said, let's get a notebook. If this is serious, get a notebook, jot down your questions. Number three, we promise to take Digging deep seriously. Let's come to digging deep. Let's, you know, so we're teaching on the topic. We can also ask a question. That is the purpose of digging deep, you know. So we'll, even though we're also trying to be quick with digging deep, but we can still afford, I mean, we finish well before dark now. So even if we had 15 minutes, <coughs> still okay. So we're going to try all these things. And again, please, I always say this. There are people here that from time to time we send the message and say, Pastor, this issue, this whatever. And I'm sure they can bear witness, some of them are listening now, that we go all out to provide detailed answers with, with um, scriptures. So the pages we have, Good. they're not so much for, see what happened in Jigule, uh, uh, see what happened in London. Oh, that's good to laugh. But the church pages are to help us. So post the question. If nobody else answers, I promise I will answer. We can start a deep, and we used to do that before. Yeah. Somebody posts a question, somebody says, ah, okay, this and that. Then one person says, no, it's like this. Before you know it, everybody has learned very well. So there's so many ways we can take advantage. And I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Our time is up. Brahma, quickly. Thank you. I think that's what Pastor said. You post your question on the RCCG page and then it will be attended to. Praise the Lord. Shall we bow our heads in prayer? Our Father and our God, we thank you. Lord, we are open 
to what you are doing, we are open to what you plan to do. And we say, Lord, please continue to have your way. Whatever word you have planted in our hearts, they will not be stifled, they will not die, they will not dry up. Amen. But they will grow and they will bear fruit. Amen. And those fruits will abide Amen. in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Please, your Sunday school offering. in our lives. And Lord, we ask this morning that Lord, as we have brought our tithes, we ask that things will not be tight for us in Jesus' name. We connect our finances and our incomes to the bank of heaven where their currency does not change and their currency does not give value. And we ask, oh Lord, that whatever remains with us shall be used for the purpose for which it was meant. It will not be used for things that we, that we did not plan for for evil in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. So let's please let's drop our, our time. Okay, so can we just stand on our feet as we take our offering? Offering time. Offering time. Please let's ride on our feet. As we dance, give God our dance offering and then give our offering. Oloru kwa la 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 la
God of mercy, the God of greatness, and the God that doeth wonderful things. Father, we bless your name this morning for the opportunity to learn at your feet, to praise and worship you. Many seek for this opportunity, but many of them are not even alive to have this opportunity. We are not taking this for granted. And we say, Lord, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. As we approach your word, O oh Lord, help us by your spirit to learn. Lord, deposit things in our lives. And Lord, at the end, as we pray, you will answer us. So that when people see us, they will know that we have served a living God in the name of Jesus. I ask that you speak through my mouth and think in my mind. And none of me, but all of you. At the end, O oh Lord, we will all be blessed. In Jesus' wonderful name. We are preached. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. You may be seated. God bless you. Luke chapter 1, verse 28, chapter 1. Luke chapter 1, verse 28, chapter 1. This morning, God wants to speak to us about what the favor of God can do for you. What the favor of God can do for you and I. Luke chapter 1, verse 28 to 31. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail thou that art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and casting her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, Thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. Once again, we want to talk about what the favor of God can do for you. So, first, let's even understand what favor is. Favor means to prefer someone, especially in an unfair way. In an unfair way, let's mark that. To show partiality towards somebody or something. That means favor is not fair. There is no fairness in favor. It's not about geographical location. It's not about quota system. Favor is not fair. In Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 4, Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 4, the Bible says, He is the rock. His work is perfect for all his ways are judgment. A God of truth and without iniquity. Just and right. He didn't say Fair and right. He said, just and right is he. Another definition of favor, or meaning of favor is to show that you like or approve of someone more than the others. To show that you approve of someone more than the others. In Romans chapter 9, verse 14. Romans chapter 9, verse 14. I read the amplified version. He said, as it is written and forever remains written, Jacob I loved, in bracket, chose, protected, and blessed. But Esau I hated, held in disregard, and compared to Jacob. So, favor is like you just prefer somebody or something over another, irrespective of how, what other people may say. As in the case of Romans chapter 8, verse 14. Favor means to, to regard someone or something as most likely to succeed or win. That means favor will make you to assist somebody to succeed more than another. Luke chapter 1 verse 30 again. He said, And the angel said unto her, Fear not Mary, for, for, for thou hast found favor with God. God wanted to do something in the hand, life of Mary, so he had to favor her. One of the things we need to know is that favor comes from God. Daniel chapter 1 verse 9. Daniel chapter 1 verse 9. And then in Luke chapter 1 verse 30. You know, where the angel said, Thou hast found favor from God. Favor, yeah, man can give favor. But if God did not put it in the heart of the man to favor you, you may have the presence of Nigeria as your junior brother, and you can still be poor. True or false? Are we saying there are no poor people in the president's family today? That is the, 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 what favor can do. So, from the text that we read, there are things that are clear. Number one, Mary did not pray, neither does she want or expect the favor she received from God. 
that if you look at Luke chapter 1, if you read through, we did not hear, and Mary prayed for favor. No, Mary did not pray, pray for him. In Luke chapter 1, verse 29 to 30, and when she saw him, she was, when she saw the angel, she was troubled at his saying. When the angel said, Blessed are thou. She was troubled at the saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said to her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. She never prayed for it. I pray for somebody this morning. That miracle that you don't even remember to pray for. Because you find favor with God, that will happen in your life in Jesus' name. It was after the visitation of the angel in Luke chapter 1, verse 38, that she now said, Be it unto me according to your word. That, that was an aftermath of the blessing. There is somebody here today, by the time God will show you favor, you will be so shocked that you will now say, Be it unto me according to your word. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Another thing that we can get here is that she didn't want it, but God gave it to her all the same. Why? Because favor is a prerogative of God. Romans chapter 9, verse 14. What has two children that are in the womb done to God for God to say, He saw I hated and Jacob I love? Honestly speaking, there was a time we had a Bible study way back in the early 2000s. And we asked our pastor, He said, Look, I have told you, get a notebook. There are some questions that pastor cannot answer. So when we get to heaven, I have my notebook. He writing it down. When we get to heaven, Jesus, come. There are questions. For you. Number one, why did you love Jacob more than Esau? And he will explain. But I can't explain that. But by the time we get there, we'll have known the reason. We don't need to ask again. All of us will get there in Jesus. Amen. Number three, things that we need to know. The favor of God made her a unique person. After she had that favor, she became a unique person. No one before and after her as and will ever be received such favor. For instance, I mean, the, 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 the most glaring favor that she received, I mean, there are no two earthly mothers of Jesus. Across religions, Mary was Mary, the mother of Jesus. There was no other name. I said, ah, who is the mother of Jesus? And you hear one other name. No. That was a special favor. I decree to, the, to somebody this morning, as the God lives, God will give you, make you a unique person by favor today in Jesus' name. Amen. Number four, she became outstanding by favor. In verse 28 of Luke chapter 1, God said, Blessed are thou among women. God picked her out, single her out for, for that favor. I pray for somebody. God will single you out for favor this week in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number five, the favor of God changed her name. The favor of God in the life of Mary changed her name forever. In Luke chapter 1, verse 20, 20, 27, Luke chapter 1, verse 27, the Bible says, To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. Watch that. But in John chapter 2, verse 1, John chapter 2, verse 1, the same Mary was referred to as mother of Jesus. I decree to the life of somebody this morning, by the favor of God upon your life, God will change your name in Jesus' name. Amen. I can hear your amen. amen. Finally, we can grow in favor. In Luke chapter 2, verse 52. Luke chapter 2, verse 52. The Bible says, And Jesus grew in wisdom and in stature, and in favor with God and with man. If Jesus had to grow in favor, so do we have to grow in favor? The question this morning is, do you need God's favor? We are praying all manners of prayers now. But I think the shortest way to anything in life is when God favor you. Uh, Yoruba will say, Olong go go for le. I mean, I have, uh, we, are, we see examples around us now. It is not by might, it is not by power, it's not by stature, it's not by height, but by whatever God wants to give to you. We have seen men that had that their parents had no name, but they ended up ruling professors. I mean, there was a time in this country that somebody 
throw an advert and said, if you have PhD, come and, come and become a driver of trucks. And people applied. How many of us remember? People applied. And he was, he's not a professor, but he wants to hire professors to drive trucks. I mean, God will take you to that level. The favor of God will take you to that level. So God needs to single you out if you need his favor. And be, before he will single you out, he has to know you. He has to know you. In John chapter 10, verse 27 and 28, John chapter 10, verse 28, 27 and 28, in conclusion, Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they followed me, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Before we begin to pray for favor this morning, is there anyone in the house that you know that if God is sharing favor this morning, because he doesn't know you, you will not get it, in all sincerity. This is not the time for you to be ashamed of anything. If you are here in the house and you have not known Jesus, Jesus is not your Lord and Savior. If you are there in the house watching me or watching this program and you have not had a personal experience and encounter with the Lord, the Bible says that you, with your heart you believe and then with your mouth you confess what you believe. If you are here in this room, in, the, in this church and you want to give your life to Jesus, all heads bowed, and all eyes closed. Can you just raise up your hand? You are not raising it up to me. I cannot save you. It's only Jesus that can save you. I did not die for you. Jesus died for you. No man died for anyone. It's Jesus that died for us. If you are here, then just, just raise up your hand where you are and I will pray with you. God bless you. God bless you. Do not be ashamed. Do not be ashamed. Do not be ashamed. It's not a thing that you should be ashamed of. You need God's favor. You want God to favor you. Just raise up your hands wherever you are. Hallelujah. Can we all rise on our feet, please? Can we all rise on our feet? I want you to pray to God this morning. God so made what will happen. And she eventually agreed with God and it came to pass. Be unto me according to your word. We are going to say, Lord, by the virtue of favor that we do bestow upon me, I agree with all that you want to do for me this week and this year and forever in my life. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray for favor. Ask God for that special favor that will change your situation forever, that will change your name. Even though you, you don't de deserve it, God can still give it to you. Let's pray for favor this morning. Let's ask God for favor this morning. You are not praying. Are you praying or you are praying? Let's ask for favor. Let's ask for favor. In the name of Jesus, Father, I ask for favor this morning. Lord, I ask for divine visitation, angelic visitation that will bring my message of favor this morning in the name of Jesus. The favor that will change my situation and change my name in the name of the Lord Jesus. I ask for divine favor in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are praying. Yeah. Finally, we want to go into the renew, renewal of our covenant of life. Psalm 118, verse 17. Psalm 118, verse 17. Can you display it so that we read together? Psalm 118, verse 17. And then you turn it to prayer quickly. Are we there? Okay, okay. So, Psalm 118, verse 17 says, I shall not die but leave to declare the word of the Lord. I, I want you to turn to prayer. Say, Father, I renew my covenant of life with you. According to your word, I shall not die in the name of the Lord Jesus. Not nobody in my family shall die, but we will live to declare the, 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 the word of the Lord in the land of the living. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are praying. Psalm 91 verse 16. Let's read together. Psalm 91 verse 16. Then you place your name there. Alright. With long life, will you satisfy the Unica and show me your salvation. Let us pray. Let's, let's convert to prayer. Say, Lord, according to your word, with long life, will you satisfy me and show me your salvation. In the name of Jesus, show me your salvation, O Lord. Satisfy me with your long life. Whatever is happening around, 
protect me and shield me, protect my family, protect everything that belongs to me in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I want your event to resound. Father, we thank you this morning because you are the God that gives favor. Lord, we ask this morning for a genetic visitation like you visited Mary that will bring, because of your favor in our lives, that we will receive a genetic visitation as you visit us today. Lord, you will change our lives and turn our lives around for the best in the name of Jesus. Amen. For that brother and that sister that will say the loudest amen, so shall it be unto you in Jesus' name. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are praying. Let somebody shout hallelujah. God bless you.
Now we were talking about um, Sunday school here. But those of us who have been joining Hans Fellowship, that's another place that you wouldn't want to miss. You wouldn't want to miss Hans Fellowship. Because we actually tried to curtail time, but that time is something that we have not been able to control. So everybody and anyone has questions. Do make it a date. House fellowship, please. Very important. 6 p.m. on Sunday. Start today again at 6 p.m. The link will be sent to the NTR page. Praise the Lord. Fasting continues. Kindly join us in our daily prayer. We also send link daily on the NTR pages for daily prayer and you know to conclude our fasting. Very, very very, very important. Very important. If you don't have a smartphone, please let us know so that we can find a way of either sending you the prayer points or something because it is something that is very important. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. May we rise as we conclude today's service.